President Emerson Umingagwa's appointment of veteran bank John Mushiavenhu as the new Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe RBZ governor has been challenged by two university students, who allege that it contravenes the law. Umingagwa was forced to retire former RBZ governor John Mangudi a month before he finished his term after the coal currency suffered a sharp fall. Mushiavenhu on Friday introduced a new currency as part of his basket of measures to stem raging economic chaos reminiscent of 2008. Mangudi's term was due to end on April 30th before he takes over as Matapa Investment Fund's chief executive officer on May 1st. The two University of Zimbabwe students Nespert Munyuki and Valentine Ziki, who are represented by Zimbabwe Lawyers for Human Rights CLHR lawyer Kos Sam Kyub on Friday wrote to Mingagwa demanding that he reverses Mushiavenhu's appointment within five days or face legal action. The duo said Mushiavenhu was conflicted as a shareholder of FBC Holdings and not eligible to occupy the post of governor. We confirm that following mandatory disclosure by Dr. Mushiavenhu himself. The Zimbabwe Stock Exchange issued a public notice dated 8 June 2020 advising the public of his acquisition of shares in FBC Holdings. They said in their letter of demand, the aforesaid notice advised the public that through a company called Tyrant Investments Private Limited, on the 4th of June 2020, he purchased 1,925,000 shares in FBC Holdings to the value of CW$4427500 raising his shares in the company to 4,23,25,00. They added, furthermore, public information available at the Zimbabwe Stock Exchange confirms that indeed, Tyrant Investments, the vehicle through which he has been purchasing shares in FBC Holdings, holds about 7% shareholding in the listed company. It is trite and indeed easily ascertainable through the Zimbabwe Stock Exchange that FBC Holdings Limited wholly owns FBC Bank. The students said Mushiavenhu, through his investment vehicle Tyron Investments, is a shareholder in a company that wholly owns a registered and trading banking institution. Mushiavenhu, as the governor of the RBZ is the head of the body that regulates and has total oversight of the functions of banking institutions. They wrote, This entails the imposition of penalties for errant behavior on the part of banks and even suspension or revocation of their trading licenses should the need arise. This brings to the fore the question of his objectivity in carrying out his regulatory functions in relation to FBC Bank. How is he to regulate and supervise a bank in which he has a vested and well-documented financial interest? It goes without saying, Your Excellency, that he is evidently conflicted and compromised. The students said it is for that reason that the RBZ Act Chapter 2215 was promulgated. The Act provides guidelines on the appointment of RBZ Governor. Whilst we appreciate that at law you are reposed with the prerogative of appointing the RBZ Governor, Nevertheless, your discretion in that regard is not absolute as it is fettered by statute. The letter reads, Section 14 of the RBZ Act provides that your power to appoint the governor is subject to Section 16. The students said they will approach the courts for recourse, 